Beneath the unforgiving ice of the Arctic, a silent shadow glides, ancient, unseen, and unstoppable. It doesn't hunt with speed. It doesn't strike with sight. In fact, it barely seems alive until it's too late. This isn't folklore. This isn't a sea monster from some Norse saga. It's real. It has no eyes. It doesn't need them. It outlived the British Empire. It was already old when the United States was founded. It drifts through icy waters, feeding on the flesh of seals, whales, and yes, polar bears. This is the Greenland shark, a living relic of prehistory, a predator born in darkness, thriving in silence. No flashy attacks, no dramatic chases, just patience, stillness, and a lifespan that can stretch across four human centuries. That's the Greenland shark. It can grow over 20 feet long and weigh more than 1,000 kilograms, making it one of the largest species of shark on the planet. But it doesn't slice through the ocean like a great white. It moves with glacial patience, conserving every ounce of energy in a world where food is scarce and time is meaningless. You won't find it near coral reefs or tropical waters. This beast prefers the eternal winter of the North Atlantic, from the frigid coasts of Greenland and Iceland to the deep, icy trenches of Canada's northern seas. And although it may not look it, this shark is a living fossil, part of an evolutionary line stretching back over 400 million years. That's right. It shared the Earth with trilobites and giant sea scorpions. And somehow, it's still here. It didn't adapt by changing quickly. It survived by staying the same for eons. The Greenland shark is, by most definitions, blind. Its eyes are often clouded over by a parasitic worm, Omatocoita elongata, which attaches itself to the cornea, rendering the shark nearly sightless. But this isn't a disadvantage, not in its world. Down where sunlight doesn't exist, vision becomes irrelevant. Instead, this predator has evolved to rely on highly tuned senses of smell, subtle changes in pressure, and the low frequency pulses of movement. It doesn't need to see. It can smell a seal from miles away, detect the dying heartbeat of a drowning animal, or follow a scent trail beneath layers of thick sea ice. And so, it stalks the deep like a phantom, unhurried and unreadable. Its blindness adds to the legend, a face without focus, drifting through total darkness, guided by instincts older than civilization itself. It's not a disadvantage, it's an upgrade. For a world where light no longer matters, don't let its slow pace fool you. The Greenland shark is a stone cold killer Yes, it scavenges. In fact, it will happily feast on decaying carcasses that have sunk to the ocean floor, whales, fish, and more. But that's just the beginning. Researchers have discovered something more disturbing. Polar bear remains inside the stomachs of Greenland sharks. Let that sink in. This blind, slow-moving animal has somehow managed to consume one of the Arctic's most fearsome predators. How? No one's exactly sure. Some suggest it ambushes sleeping or wounded bears near the edge of ice flows. Others believe it waits for natural deaths and claims the body before anything else can. But it doesn't stop there. This shark has also been known to eat seals, reindeer, moose, and even horses, sometimes swept into the ocean by river floods or thawing ice. Its jaw is surprisingly strong, and its teeth, though not massive, are serrated like saw blades perfect for tearing flesh. The Greenland shark isn't just opportunistic, it's indiscriminate, consuming anything that crosses its path, whether it's alive, dying, or already dead. Slow doesn't mean weak. In this case, it means unstoppable. If the Greenland shark could speak, it might recall the days before the American Revolution. Because this animal doesn't just live a long time, it lives longer than any vertebrate on Earth. The oldest verified Greenland shark was estimated to be over 400 years old. 
Some might even be pushing 500. How do we know? Scientists studied the eye lenses of dead specimens, a part of the body formed at birth and unchanged for life. By analyzing carbon isotopes in those tissues, they traced their birth to the 1600s. Think about that. While humans build civilizations, fight wars, and burn through lifetimes, this shark just keeps swimming. Even more mind-blowing, they don't reach sexual maturity until they're about 150 years old. That means some of these sharks are still teenagers by their standards and could live through multiple human eras. It's a reminder that the natural world has its own timelines. While we chase youth and rush to achieve, the Greenland shark drifts slowly, aging like an immortal, barely touched by time. It doesn't just live longer. It makes centuries look like passing days. Sunlight never reaches the Greenland shark's home. These sharks live thousands of feet below the surface, often as deep as 7,200 feet. That's more than a mile down, where the pressure is crushing and the temperature hovers below freezing. To survive there, you need more than strength. You need extreme patience. The Greenland shark's metabolism is the slowest of any shark species. It moves slowly, grows slowly, digests slowly, and ages slowly. This isn't a weakness. It's the secret to its incredible lifespan. In a place where food is scarce and the environment is hostile, every calorie counts. The shark rarely needs to surface, and it has adapted to thrive in a part of the planet that most creatures can't even tolerate. It is a master of the deep, an apex predator in a realm of silence, drifting through a world where the rules of nature bend and time itself seems to stand still. For a creature that lives centuries, you'd expect scientists to know everything about it by now. But when it comes to the Greenland shark's reproduction, we're still in the dark. They give birth to live young, not eggs. And it's believed that females carry dozens of pups. But here's the kicker. No one has ever seen them mate, not once. How long is the gestation period? Possibly several years, maybe even longer. Where do they go to give birth? No one knows. At what depth do they breed? Still a mystery. It's as if they deliberately keep their secrets locked beneath layers of ice and time. Even the size of newborn pups remains somewhat speculative. Among marine biologists, this shark is a biological riddle one of the least understood reproductive systems in the ocean. It's hard to study what you can barely find, especially when it's moving silently in the blackness, hundreds of meters below your reach. It's one of the only animals on Earth that can kill you after you've killed it. The meat of the Greenland shark is saturated with trimethylamine oxide, or TMAO, a compound that helps the shark survive the freezing depths, but turns its flesh into a chemical weapon for humans. Eat it raw, and the effects are brutal. Nausea, convulsions, even hallucinations, so vivid, it's earned the nickname Nature's Acid Trip. But Arctic indigenous communities, especially in Greenland and Iceland, learned long ago how to outwit the poison. They ferment the meat for months, then dry it until the toxins break down. The result? a pungent delicacy known as haykarl, often described as tasting like ammonia-soaked rubber. It's not for the faint of heart, but it's a culinary tradition tied to survival in one of Earth's harshest climates. Just one bite of unprepared Greenland shark, though, and you're gambling with your nervous system. If you found this deep-sea legend as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below. What's your favorite mysterious creature?